Hi, my name is Maurice. Hi, my name is Christina. And together we are the Angumias. And this is our love story. Hi. It was September, I think mid-September. I was supposed to go for a birthday party for his cousin. I was supposed to go with my sisters and they foxed. But <laughs> I decided to go. Now when we went, I was supposed to link up with his cousin. So we link up, we go through this long drive from in a taxi from Luzira up to Ntinda to meet someone I don't know. They just told me, go, you meet someone called Morris. He stays in Chiwatule, right? Mm -hmm. Chiwatule, he's I waiting for Chiwatule. you. So I'm going to meet someone. I do not know him, but they've told me he's driving you all the way to Kungu. Now, Luzira, Kungu, meeting someone you don't know. So I find him at his residence with a friend of his called Ambrose. And they're waiting. They were standing at the f on the fence. I don't know. They were doing some kind of posture, which was strange. So I look at them. I'm like, ah, waiting for you. these boys. boys. For so, long. so we walk in. <clears throat> with Rachel, his cousin, and uh, we enter the car and he starts calling me Tracy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Tracy is my sister. So he starts asking, So, Lisa, how is Tracy? And I'm thinking, Okay. So I play along. Tracy is fine. <laughs> then he's like, Oh, yeah. And your other sister, uh, Tina, how is she? And this whole time, Rachel is looking at him like, Okay, let's go for the party. Me, I just wanted a ride to the party. That's what I wanted. So he starts asking me about Tracy and, and my sisters and all. Okay, I'm thinking, what time are we getting into this party? Can we get there? Because for some reason, Rachel is about setting a get out of the car. And this guy realizes it's a mix up of names. So we reach the party and he's with his boys. So they tried to hook me up with one of his boys because he was a smartest and I liked smartest. So, <laughs> we are at this round table. I'm not used to going for this party without my sister. So, we're at this round table with all his village people. And we are seated, and this guy is just like looking at me. He's drinking, but he's like, That's not true. He keeps looking at me and thinking. That's and this time true. I was dating someone else. So, I was in this troubled relationship. I'm moving up and down with my phone. This guy is there looking at me. I didn't really mind him. So, later, when I go home, he texts me. Hi, I didn't even have his number. I don't know. I think he picked my number off the group page, the family group page, and he's like, Hi, did you get home safe? I go wow. check the profile picture. <laughs> I look at him. And I turned and That's went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. When did when did I respond? December. That was September. Uh -huh. October. Version, November. So Can December is when I responded. Story? And I'm like, hi, I reached home safely. In December. Okay, the response that is true, <laughs> but can I give my version? Okay. okay. Um <laughs> it was September when was September of twenty sixteen. Yeah. So we were supposed to be going for a party, a birthday party, my brother's birthday party. So we were supposed to have left home, we used to stay in Chiwatule. Then the party was in Kungu. So I was told to go with someone called Tina. Yes, I was told to wait for you and go with you because he didn't know where the place was. So we wait. One hour, two hours. <laughs> We're wondering where are these people? So I begin, I think I, I called you and asked you where you are. I think you were coming with a taxi. Mm. And I was getting impatient. Actually, I was with my my boy called Ambrose, and he was also getting impatient, asking what's going on, who are we waiting for? We had never seen her before. Okay, me, I had seen them. It's just that because they were sisters and they'd always be together, I wouldn't tell them apart. <laughs> so you don't you didn't know who you were waiting for? No, I knew I was waiting for one of the three girls because you always three people. That's what I remember. So I wish. <laughs> Wow. I wait as as getting impatient. I get I, I get a call and they're asking me where is the, the place exactly. We are here. I think you're at that supermarket near my place. So we direct them. PK. PK, yes. We direct them and then they come. Then we go for the party. 
and he starts asking about Tracy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't stare. You wouldn't just, admit. No, I just looked at you and I thought, wow, And that is supposed nice. to be called what? <laughs> Yeah, I yes, and I responded in December that I had reached home safely. No, but you remember I sent you that text. I was just genuinely worried about you because you left the party late. <sighs> yes, because you left the party late. Mm -hmm. I wanted to check and see if you got home safe. And yeah, she replied my text in December. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still moving <laughs> since August. Wow. Yes. Wow. I had to make sure he meant me. He meant I meant Tracy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, we've been together for about four years. Um, after she replied my text in December. <laughs> yeah, then we started, you know, texting each other. And normally we travel to the village for Christmas and all, but I remember that Christmas we didn't travel. Oh yeah, and our villages are closed. So um, mm. we kept in touch from then. We started sharing a bit of jokes and started texting and getting to know each other. And um, well, I thought about asking her out. And I remember preparing myself and asking her out on her birthday, the 18th of February, 2017. Do you remember what you said? Yes, I do remember. Because it was proudly sponsored by my vetting committee called my sisters. <laughs> they made sure that they, I remember Lisa telling me, make sure that it's on the 18th of Feb. You'll never forget it in your life. So you guys planned it. So all this time she told me, don't allow any other day. You say 18th, now 18th is, and we'd sit around the dining table and discuss like during morning breakfast, 18th, make sure on 18th is the day you tell him, we are going to tell him to make a party, what, then that's the time you answer, have you heard? <laughs> so all this time when you say 18th, I'm like, hmm, he knew the mind behind it. No, but but yes, he asked me out on 18th, he asked, yeah, I actually asked him what he wants. Oh yeah, the first yeah, the very first time I went to his place. Should I tell them? The very first time I went to Maurice's home. Ah I reached there. I'd gone to visit. And this time we've not yet said dating. But he said, Oh, you come to my place, ba ta 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 Bambi, Kalito girl, no transport. I go. So I go. Movies, actually movies and music because we like the same we like the same music. So on reaching there, I'm thinking, let me go hungry. Since this guy likes me, <laughs> we're going to eat nice food. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Friends, eat before you leave your father's homestead. <laughs> I reach oh, there actually... and this guy comes out with a laptop, a stack of movies. <laughs> pull pull. I'm like 12.30, yeah, yeah. Jumia is about to come, one, one thirty, two. <laughs> 2.30. So I'm like, you know, it not sound like we don't have food at home. Let me say I'm hungry. No, let me not say I'm hungry. Say I have a headache. I'm like, oh, I have a headache. So he say no more. He goes, I just see the fridge door opening. He came with a glass of water in a plastic, you don't know, those plastic purple cups with action tablets. Time, two times one, please, prescription. He's like, you can have this. It will help with a headache. Me thinking, who takes medicine you on an me empty hungry, stomach? If I took my my actions, two of them, <laughs> I was so hungry. I remember text. I think it was either Liz or Fiona, my friend. I told them I'm never coming back to this place in my life. This place is for suffering. <laughs> I can't be here when there's no food. What? And he properly dropped me. I even told him, you know, I don't take me home. Just drop me at Total Nakawa. I will go home. Never, because I didn't want him to even see where I stay. <laughs> like this guy, no way. But later we developed there was friendship, lots of friendship. I think Maurice and I have been more friends than than yeah, that. But he officially asked me out on 18th Feb 2017 in Alia. And you couldn't wait to say yes. Yeah. <laughs>
Guys. So fresh I still you remember me now you are dressed. <laughs> wow. Yes. Was it dress code sponsored and fitted by? No. No, but they were waiting. <laughs> they were waiting us. <laughs> and they wanted because I remember after that we yeah, after that we went to the brisk and we celebrated like <laughs> like yeah our plan has worked out. Yeah. Um the proposal happened on the twelfth of November mm. twenty nineteen. Where? Um we we took a trip we took a trip to zanzibar and uh, oh the proposal was really beautiful i remember planning it for a few weeks um i just planned it i planned the trip i looked for for a travel agent uh, the travel agent got us tickets and yeah we i think we, we were away for about a week mm. Yes, we. I think we left on a Monday. No, on a Sunday. Saturday night into Sunday. Saturday night into Sunday. Then I remember I had to plan it. Um, it's just that it just went so smoothly that it was more than what I expected. Yeah, it's never easy. It wasn't easy for me because the way I like to set my things, I put everything into place. But when we got there. Some things just kept happening. They just kept happening. And then I remember asking her about well, the ideal kind of proposal she would like. And uh, she told me totally different from what I had in mind. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to improvise. I remember I had planned a dinner at, uh, at the hotel we were at, what, Golden Tulip? Golden Tulip in Zanzibar. So, um, because I talked to my travel agent, she had helped set us set up something for us, like a dinner kind of thing. But then when she showed me what she wanted, eh, eh, <laughs> and I was so going to get what I wanted because I went through Zanzibar to look for it. Beach, it was a beach thing, <laughs> eh? you know those nice romantic setups at beaches with very romantic lights at night. <laughs> so I started uh, somehow. We had someone who was driving us. And we had like sort of formed a rapport with him because he had taken us around touring Zanzibar and everything. So when I told him about it, ah, he was more than excited. So he told me, I told him that we're looking for a beach because where we were, the hotel we were in didn't have a good, clear beach. So he told me that good beaches are, I think, north of Zanzibar. Mm -hmm. So we went to a place called Kendra Rocks in Zanzibar and they had a very nice beach. So when we got there, you know, we, the place he took us to, we were asking. So they called us the manager and interestingly, the manager was Ugandan, a Ugandan lady, uh, very a bit oldish. But when I told her the idea, she was more than excited. So she even gave us discounts on almost everything. And um, it was a bit... It was interesting because she was there. I was skeptical. I was wondering whether she suspected. She, at a certain point, she looked like she, she suspected. And then I realized she didn't know. So I remember when they were setting up the, the, the car place, she was, asking, she was, she was like, ah, this, this looks romantic. I wonder what's going to happen and all. And I was like, really doesn't she know? <laughs> yeah, so, and then... Um, the, the, the manager there helped us to talk to the hotel guests and the hotel guests were lovely. They, they helped us uh, raise the, the placards. Christina, will you marry me? Yeah, so it was a very lovely dinner and I went down on, on one knee and she said yes. She, she couldn't wait. She couldn't wait. <laughs> 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 I think first of all, we share the same values, and uh, I think it's the values, the kind of values that we share attracted me to her. But also, if I could just maybe say, 
my quick qualities could be because she's good fearing and uh, it's one of those that is very important for me um mm -hmm. because why because i feel like i need to, to be to be submissive to her and uh, she needs to be submissive to me i feel like we need to be submissive to each other and without god i feel like it would be very hard for us to submit to each other so the god fearing aspect is very very crucial for me and then um, her character um mm. she's uh, strong she makes she likes to think and make decisions quickly and uh, whereas for me it's on, i like to take my time i like to take my time thinking things through sometimes i think i get too logical and uh, i take my time whereas for her she's quick quick she wants to make decisions she wants to move quickly so she's tenacious she's strong she's feisty huh. yes yeah and uh, okay. i think the other one yeah she's attractive she's attractive she's uh huh. I have you seen that body? <laughs> You're killing her crap. You're killing her crap. <laughs> yeah, she has a what we call a Coca Cola. Coca Cola. You know that Kasongo? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Hmm? Um, she got a body like a Coca Cola bottle. Uh, what's his name? Amala Komita Mita. Tonix. Tonix, yes. Yeah, so she's she's attractive, she's beautiful. <laughs> we are sorry. And the bonus uh -huh. is the humility, the honesty, yeah, and the neatness. I like neat people. Uh, yep. Some things I'm like getting people. to hear from here. All right. What do I like about Morris? Hmm. I think there are only three things. Just three like this. <laughs> there are mainly three. Okay, there are other things, but there are mainly three. Why are you copying me? Because I said there are three. Mine are three also. Three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing is he smells so nice. Yeah. He smells so nice consistently smells so nice then the second one is he loves my family and then the third is loving okay the first one is he smells so nice the second one is he loves my family and the third is that he is a leader and a wise leader Let's put it that way. He's a wise leader. He's someone who can, who doesn't rush when making decisions. While he says I'm, I'm quick, he'll take his time and first think, think things through, like a king. Like you know, first think, take his time, think. But then by the time he speaks, eh, hey, you're like, I now see why he kept quiet and took his time, and you know. But that's something I love about him. He's he's in all those three aspects. He's he's a check on the physical part. He's a check on the mental part, and then check on the heart part. So yeah, that's why I love my part. yes. Even the and the, the the spiritual part is put into the love part. Because if you love my family, then you you're bound to love other people. Yes, that's why. I'm Yeah, that's it for me. Always by Atlantic, Atlantic Star. Star. It, it, it's a very romantic song, and um, if you listen to the lyrics, it's very, it's just, it was just perfect for the moment and perfect for our story. So I remember, I think before we, we were thinking about it and what we were going to dance to. I listened to it and I suggested it and we both loved it. So 
that's why we agreed to go with it yeah if you listen to the lyrics it's you know we just got tired of going for weddings and you hear the couple's first dance song and it's ed sheeran photograph or i don't know some song but the reverend had told us to get to dance to sexual healing <laughs> and we we're like mm. then later on when we listen to always it it meant like if you listen to it it's a nice car song yeah, that's why. We actually chose three songs. You remember the other two? No, I don't. There was one by uh, Wale. Oh yes. There's one by Wale. If it's Wale. a question of my yeah. heart. And there was, I think, a yeah. third one. But then wondering, how do you dance to that one? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't make sense. Yeah. Then I don't know what the third one was. I don't remember the third one, but there were three. Oh, oh well. I loved the fact that we created a relationship with our service providers. They became family. Um, most of them really looked at us beyond the point of we want money, we are offering a service. Most of them became family. Um, till today, some of them call, just call to check how, how we are. How is your marriage? There's um, Okud, Stella Mugera, there is um, Judithiana. I remember the day of the wedding, we were me, my sister, she was my matron, Tracy, and my friends, Fiona, Sandra, Claire, and, um, oh, am I forgetting this and Anita, yes, my cousin. And then, it rains. It rains so bad that the, the uh, bedroom window broke. The glass broke. Now, when it broke, I was inside the bathroom. So these girls think that I'm inside. And then Tracy comes. Tina, Tina, have you escaped? <laughs> now, Judithiana also got so worried. She was the she was the makeup artist. She got so worried about me. They tried to open the door. And all this time I'm in the bathroom hearing them trying to break into the door with Sheila. I'm like, you know, it was everyone was bothered to see Judithiana pray because she gathered the girls around and they held hands and they said a prayer for the rain to stop. The hair artist Dawoodi was running up and down trying to make things work. There was so many people there were so many people who were really passionate about this part i don't think there's a team of service providers i've ever met like the ones we had from the very first function the kugambob journey up to the wedding chitanda pious of cake and keki blaze events um, reverend bamtunje uh, Semakula from Fort even my gown people, uh, the Adelaide guys, purple rain suits like everyone was so passionate about our function. And I think for every couple, every bridal, everyone getting married, I think that's what you need. That's what you need. These other things are good, yes, but for me, that is something I'll always hold dear. Hold so dear. Actually, in um, in November, I remember when, um, November 3rd, November 3rd when mom passed away, I had, I had service providers who came, who came home. There was Semakula, there was uh, Novas, who else came home? Yeah, I think it was ones who came home. Judithiana was so calling on me. Yeah. Yes, uh, Chitanda was asking me. Like, they were all up in our business. And for, for us, I think it's, it blew us away. We have never, we never imagined that service providers can get so intimate with a couple yeah. that much. And we're not minding much about the money and more about the happiness of people's marriage. Well, um, it was very detailed. For me, I feel like it's uh, it's hard for me to just 
choose a specific thing and say this is the most that stood out for me because like um, she has said we first of all we chose all our service providers very early we had a lot of time planning our function but we both agreed that we needed something small and something very intimate so i feel like um, we really got what we wanted and everything for me was perfect i don't think i wouldn't say i would have chosen to have it any other way i know that i got worried about certain things but the things i got worried about on that day were basically out of control they were mm. out of my hands i think it was the weather mm. because we, we both prefer to have a garden wedding near the lake with very good views which we got we unfortunately were not able to have our nuptials saying our vows and the church out the way we would have loved to have it because it rained uh, that morning up to about 11 and yet we had planned to begin our service at 10 no, no 11, still to at 11 to midday 11 to midday and up to 11 it was still raining um so we decided to you know improvise and have the function in but after it cleared and it was still beautiful we still got the views that we wanted so there are lots of moments from the morning when i saw her come out in the gown in the rain and uh, to me i i was worried and when i saw her she was just bubbly she was happy but in my head i was thinking oh god can't it just stop raining i just thought it was going to ruin the whole occasion so um but you know the reality set in when the um our reverend um said you know what morris we need to make a decision and you know the 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 mugole the dress will be the, the area where we're going to hold will be the grounds will be soggy the dress will get messy your shoes will get messy so i think let us just move it inside and of course we had uh, some other people I have an uncle of mine who told me and said do you really need to you know compromise what you want and mm. can't you just wait a bit <laughs> yeah and uh, uh, but we were running out of time, so we just had to make a decision. So we went in, but when we went in, still we uh, requested that uh, we have much of the lake view as much as possible, which we did. And um, I think from then, um, all the moments kept coming, the nice moments kept coming. I think one of them was when I walked in for the vows, that was significant for me. The other moment was when she walked in and her father came came holding her hand and I had to come towards her and get her to the altar. Then the vows, the vows were excellent. Um, you know, they were not the ordinary vows that we normally have. <laughs> like she said, we had a relationship with all our service providers and I think they became more of friends, more of family. Like Rev, Rev allowed us to do whatever we wanted. He allowed us to do our own vows because he also guided us, said, you know, you have to do the church vows, but you can also write, if you want to say something to each other, you can write it. And then, of course, there's the, the famous sign off that we did, the, the kissing of the bride. Um, I remember when Rev was telling us for, for the rehearsal, He's like, by the way, I can't wait to see you guys. I can't wait to see you kissing the bride. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> well, he knew that we were not going to do it, but he had no idea. He had no clue what we we're going to do. So it was between me and her. And why? Because we felt like um, we were uncomfortable, first of all. We felt like the whole kissing thing, of course, given the cultural background, being African and all, we felt like it would be appropriate for our relatives especially the old people to see us doing it so we decided you know what let's do something cooler let's do something cooler and uh, let it just be like a bomb let it just come out of no i let it shock them and uh, well i guess probably we achieved what we wanted then i think after that of course it was uh, the pictures outside the people having the the the, the um, what was it? The barbecue. 
people being happy outside taking the shots near the lake everyone seemed happy then of course coming in for the reception the dance and going down uh, <laughs> There are so many, there are so many. I can't Sport. just say I, I can choose a, a moment that stands out the most. So, yeah, and of course the speeches, there are some really nice things that were said. I think I remember mostly my sister's speech, it was very emotional. A lot of oh, crying. Yeah, and uh, it was lovely. I, it was was an all-round function for me I, I don't have a specific moment that can put my finger to I think there are so many and they just kept coming as the day went by yeah and shout out to the, to the zoo people Uganda Wildlife oh, Education yeah. Center for some reason I keep forgetting our wedding was in the zoo <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, they were they were lovely they they, they, they give us a very good function um, the bandas they were, they were lovely everything was perfect i don't know if there's anything i would have done differently i think when i began when i began to speak about the most uh, memorable moment i remember i think saying that i would have done it again so i probably maybe having my church service outside like i'd wanted maybe the weather would have been different i think that's the only thing that i look at and say it's what i missed out but besides that, I don't think we missed out on anything. I don't know if I would have done it any different. I think I would have done it the same. You? Mm, anything differently? Uh, no. I would have probably wanted your mom to be around. Mm, would it be up to me? <laughs> Yeah, and if, I think if. anything differently? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Not really. I think I think everything was okay. It's perfect. Yeah, I, I don't think I wanted to do anything differently. It it was beautiful. It was very beautiful. I don't think. Nah. Even the weather part. Nah, no, it was okay. <laughs> The rain and all, well, on the plus side with the rain, <laughs> those who had planned not to, my friends, some of my workmates actually had said they had planned to come for the reception and then boom, they find themselves attending the church <laughs> because, the, the, oh, yeah, because of the rain. Yeah. So we found everyone attending the so whole it's, wedding. It's yeah, yeah. so I don't think, I, I, I don't think I've reached a point in life where I say, this should have gone this way or that way. I think everything happens so perfectly when it happens. So I'm okay. Hmm. When Ronnie asked us to enter. For what? For the reception? For the, recep for the, for the reception. When he said, let's all welcome Mr. and Mrs. Angumi. I'm thinking, oh yeah, now my name has changed a bit. I was thinking, wow, we have started a new chapter. <laughs> and this new chapter involves me being a different person because way before it was Christina, Christina, and now this guy is saying Mr. and Mrs. Angumi. I was like, in my head, I'm practicing all my strokes. I'm like, now should I go down? Should I come up? <laughs> there was a lot going through my head, but when I entered and it just was just flowing, I think that's one moment that because I still practice how the dance may be different. Like I keep trying in my head, oh, what would I have done? But I think that was my fondest moment. It can't be my dad. No, for that one, I, f I felt like he did it on Thursday at the Quinja. So this one was just... Even for him, he looked like, oh, well, I had already done this. So Because he just asked me, hey, it's like he was shocked. He's like, hey, Christina, how are you? I'm thinking, okay, what if I said I'm not okay? But he just asked me how I am. Then he said, are you ready? I told him yes. Then he helped me organize my dress and then he said, okay, let's go. And for me, it stood out for me. Well, yeah. He brought you to me. Hmm. Good mm -hmm. Okay, I feel like it's a little too soon. It's what now? Two months? Married for about 77 days. 
Wow. In summary, <laughs> two months. <laughs> but I think marriage, marriage, marriage is um I don't want to call them hunger games. <laughs> it's like you're it's hungry. like a maze it's yeah, it's guess. it's like you figured out something on some days and other days you haven't then other days i don't know it's 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 like a puzzle every other day why because some days you think you know the person then they wake up with another personality then they go to sleep with another one they're not in a bad way not in a bad way but it's interesting it's it's like every other day you 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 write like a new they, they write a new page about themselves to you it's like a love letter that's different to you every other day sometimes it's short sometimes it's long sometimes it's one word someone can wake up and decide to be just says loving and the whole day they are loving <laughs> then the next day i can wake up and decide to say like they will just wait on you to do everything you know like you wake up, you're done doing this, you're planning this, you're planning that, and someone's just like, I'm just deciding not to do anything today in this house. I am going to sit and wait for you to do everything. Then the other days when they are like the leader. So it's it's not like it's a constant. I can't say I have one word for it, but okay, one word could be a maze, like a game. It's like it's like a puzzle piece. But I think every other day is just to not have expectations have just positive a positive attitude no expectations because something that we noticed used to kill us when we were dating were expectations but now when he wakes up and he decides to be loving it's not like i expected but again if he does it i'm like wow he is loving today and the day when he would decide to wake up and say i am not going to do anything today even the cup is too heavy for me to carry. <laughs> I'm like, okay, today is a day to be a helper. <laughs> so for me, it's 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 just it's it's a game, it's a puzzle, it's it's a trip, a trip where you you pay money and you go to see what is in the zoo or in the game park. Yeah. I share the same view with you about it. We've been married for uh, not so long, um, but I feel like um, among the things that were said at the wedding, someone gave advice and said um, he didn't have much to tell us, but maybe we should write our own story. I feel like um, that advice was spot on. I feel like we are also different people and um, we can't share the same okay there are some experiences that can be shared in marriage but then there are those where you just keep discovering and learning about each other but um uh, what maybe i would like to say is i think the um, christian beat eh, has helped us me i feel particularly a lot because um let me see i can borrow a quote probably from the bible in proverbs proverbs yeah <laughs> proverbs 27 17 i think it is that says iron sharpens iron mm. as um as one person um sharpens the other something to do with uh, one person improving the other uh, as iron sharpens iron so does one person improve the other so i feel like we can only get better um yeah so th- there are the good times and then there are those times but at the end of the day it's how you sail through i think mm. and uh, well i w- i wouldn't want to say that it is only in marriage i think when we're still dating we experienced some of the things and yeah we at the end of the day we are writing our own story i think that's what matters the most we appreciate all our service providers stella mugera of awkward events she did the deco amazing job 
um, Noel Blaze Agaba for Blaze Events with DJ Nelly for the music. Uh, Reverend Bamtunjire Steven, he was the officiator, right? Of the function. Then MC Romney, Ronnie McVex Musimenta, he was the MC. Amazing job, very smart man. Uh, the saxophonist was uh, Chitanda Michael. Yep. The makeup artist was Judithiana, Beauty by Judy. Um, Has UG <laughs> did an amazing job, such a lovely team. Uh, Lillian from uh, yeah, Lillian is the one who did the gown. Emily. Yes. Then uh, Papo Rain suits, Papo Rain hub, yeah. Yeah. She's the one who did the the suit for the suits the for suits. the groom and the best man. Then the zoo, of course, where the wedding was. It's quite funny saying I got married from the, in the zoo, not all the animals that cooperated and didn't choose us. Well, then uh, who else? And I think it'd be, it would be really, really lovely to appreciate the entourage that yeah. did so well, that was so energetic, and the supporting team, the supportive team that we had, the, the guys that read the verses in charge, and the, the ushers. ushers. Think oh yes, Think Events ah, did the before, ushers, simply cocktails. simply cocktails for the drinks. We had quite a group. Huh? Um, Dawoodi, who did our hair. Basically, we just want to thank, thank, thank the team, the group of people. Makula Photography, that did an amazing job. Do you feel like a celebrity? No, I feel ordinary. No, I feel like a celeb. But he did an amazing job with his team, the even the family members. I don't think we'd have done this without the family members running up and yep. down. We've got, I've got amazing brothers in law that kept driving, <laughs> Brian Mubapa. <laughs> yeah, so Brian, the team that was behind it, Albert, it's, it's just a huge group of people that put together such an amazing day that I feel like going back to, I keep telling Morris, can't you propose again and we go back? I promise to, to smile more. <laughs> but it was an amazing day and we thank God, surely. I chose Makula Pictures because in 2016, I told Jeffrey, well, Jeffrey and I have been friends, so I told Jeffrey, Jeffrey, you're going to take pictures of my wedding, on my wedding, and it's a must. Apart from telling him this thing in 2016, I also felt like photography is that place where you have to be comfortable. First of all, it takes a hundred percent of your day. You have to be very comfortable with your photographer. I wasn't ready to be the photographer who is trying to get to know me on my big day. Like, he didn't know when I maybe, I speak a lot with my face, so maybe I'm like down, and then he's wondering, okay, what is she meaning? No, this one knew, Jeffrey knew, because there's even a point I called Jeffrey to the high table. I told someone, go and call Jeffrey here, <laughs> because I was seeing something not right, and he came. So I feel like, for me, the photographer was someone, had to be someone who knows me. Not a hundred, but even if it was 20, he knew me. And if he knew me, he would get to know Maurice. So that's why I chose Makula. And he, he's amazing. I mean, look at, look at the work that he did for us. He's amazing. And he connected with us. He spoke with us. He, he understood us. He, he took time. He takes time with us. Like he will find out how you are, what's disturbing you. That day he kept asking me, what, what, what aren't you happy with? What, where should we change, you know? So for me, that is why I chose. And I chose, I choose, and will choose. Makula. We had better get ready for a baptism party. Yeah, the photos are really nice. Mm. I like the work. I, I like the pre well, um, to convince me, I think. There was a pre-wedding photo shoot that we had to do and uh, when i saw the pictures because first of all there were pictures that were taken in zanzibar oh yeah <laughs> can you imagine 
there was by the time we prepared to go to Zanzibar they had prepared someone to take pictures oh but yeah I'm i had so, <laughs> i'm not so much of a picture person so when she she said she wants to go with jeffrey and i said jeffrey it is after seeing the pre-wedding photo shoot pictures yeah they did a good job very good job thank you for watching our story and please share and subscribe to this channel and also like makula pictures on all social media platforms from the angumias Bye. Bye.